we're going to be doing two different things on this video. That's right, you guys. We are going to be opening some happy mail. And I've been tagged. That's right. Let's see who tagged me. Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. And well, you guys, today we have a fun, fun, fun video. That's right, you guys. Today I have Happy Mail. It's my Happy Mail this time, you guys. This Happy Mail is coming to me from my dolly angel, you guys. And we have been waiting on this doll for months. A couple of months at least, you guys. And well, I have no idea what's in this box. I have no idea if it's a boy or a girl. Um, I know nothing. She would not reveal not one little detail. So we're going to be unboxing this and we are also going to be a, doing a tag called She Tagged Me. And I was tagged by Melissa Valentine. That's right, you guys. So we will, after I open up the Happy Mail, we'll dive to the second part and I will do that tag. So. I know nothing about this baby and I'm so super excited you guys I'm gonna be very careful I'm opening opening the baby from upside down because in the box itself I can feel literally like a head or a leg or something right up against this box so I'm being very gentle and cutting this tape and not digging down deep I'm so excited, you guys. She ordered this baby. It's been over two months. It was on a live that she was talking about it, I believe. It was either on a live or something that she said that she had ordered a baby. And um, that she was talking about me. And I was like, oh, my God. Well, this baby. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to guesstimate that it's a boy and the reason I say that is because of the little outfit I don't see much more than just a little arm and a little foot and okay that's all I see that's what I'm seeing you guys all right okay I gotta set the box down you guys Well, first of all, I, I cannot tell what's in this box, but I can tell you that I am horrified the way that they have this baby in this box. So the first thing is, I'm upset that my baby is put in a box like this. And this isn't the Dollar Angel, this is who shipped it. So I'm going to just show you guys. The head is literally flipped around and smashed down. Oh my God. Oh my God. I do remember saying I wanted this this doll. She told me that I to remember that it's a sculpt that I said I wanted. And yes, it is definitely a sculpt I said I wanted. And I want to say oh my gosh. I want to say that this is a little boy. Well, hello there. I'm fixing to get him out. And I've never had a doll like this before. This is really a different doll. I've never had one. Here he is. Well, hello, sweet boy. This, I've never had a doll like this, you guys. Um. It is the Raya. Uh, 
there. The rear sculpt. Um, he is adorable. Um, I do see some blushing and some veining and stuff and mottling. Um, his head. Let's see if I can get his head bent back forward. He's got on, you guys. I've never had a doll like this. This is kind of different. I've never had a doll that it's like this. Up off of the arms. Like this. And the head is like meant to be on a vinyl doll. Huh. Very different. This is a very different doll. Yes, it is. And well, you guys, he definitely needs, he definitely, definitely needs um, a little, a bit of a hair brushing. <laughs> he, um, it looks like they tried to kind of cut his hair on the sides and stuff. So with the hair brushing, he is adorable. <laughs> well, hello. Well, hello, you. <laughs> You are so adorable. Okay, you guys, let me show him up close. He is super adorable. I need to take a comb into his hair because his hair is a little fluffy in the back. And, well, this is definitely <laughs> a nice surprise, you guys. Oh, hi there. Oh, 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 oh. oh you guys, here he is. And his hair is a little... I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a boy because he's wearing boy clothes and he just kind of strikes me as a boy. Um, so yeah, I think I'm supposed to be a boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, he's got gorgeous blue eyes. His eyelashes are super soft. He got big hands. He's a big boy. Him is a big boy. I love his little outfit. It's a little dinosaur outfit. It is so cute. Yes, it is. All right, you guys. Here's what I'm going to do now. And by the way, thank you, Dolly Angel. I love him. He is the Rhea Sculpt, I believe. He's got some big hands. Him's got some big old hands. Yes, him does. He's got blushing on his hands. He's got a little tipping on his fingernails. Um, he's hollow. He's not really weighted, but his weight is coming from this right here. Um, from that little part right there. So, yeah. So, that's where his weight is coming from. Otherwise, he's not weighted or nothing, but he's super adorable. So, you guys, what I'm going to do with this little guy is I'm going to go and comb his hair because, as you guys can see, he's got travel hair. So, it's a bit poofy. So, I'm going to try wetting it down and combing it down a little bit. And, um, because I don't know what this is meant to be like. We don't know what they've done to this poor boy. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I don't know what they've done with this poor boy's hair. Um, I know that it was taken so long because of rooting. And the rooting is beautiful, by the way. Beautiful, nice, thick, thick hair. And so I think that the reason they left it like this length is so that whoever got the doll could maybe, you know, turn it into something. Maybe. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go and comb his hair down, and then we are going to come back, and we are going to do a name reveal, and we're going to go ahead and do that tag, and I am going to be tagging some channels in the description box below. Alright, we are back, and I combed his hair, and well, I am not going to lie to you guys, but they cut his hair they did, I don't know what they were going for. I really don't because it's real short underneath the very top. And it's it's all like cut like this. I don't know. Maybe it's a style. I don't know. But we combed his hair, huh, baby boy? <laughs> so he doesn't have the travel hair no more, you guys. Um, so he doesn't have the travel hair. And we just kind of made him a little spiky, yes. Made him look like a little, a little tough boy, huh? All right, you guys, before we get to the tag, I wanted to go ahead and reveal his name. Let's pull his little shirt up. Okay, his name is Jason. 
that's right you guys he just looks like a Jason to me and I don't have a Jason in my collection and well he just looks like a Jason doesn't he he even moves his head and talks to us yes doesn't he he's got a little dimple there look at you little dimples so cute okay the tag that I'm doing is she tagged me and I will make sure and put the questions down in my description box below. Also make sure I am also tagging some of my Dolly sisters and brothers in the comments below. Yeah, or in the description box. So they will be also tagged in this tag. And I was tagged by Melissa Valentine. Like I said. So let's go ahead and get started on this tag. You ready Jason? Jason's going to do the tag with me you guys. All right, let me get where I'm not in you guys' face. I know I dropped the camera down, too. So you guys could also have a chance to kind of see him a little bit better and kind of look at him as I'm doing the tag. He's got gorgeous blue eyes, don't you guys think? Absolutely gorgeous. And his eyelashes are very, very, very soft. So, um, and his hair is rooted immaculately. I mean, there's plenty of it. There's a lot of hair. I just don't understand their thinking on this haircut. Anyway, so question number one is... What made you collect Reborns? What started me on the, the journey of collecting Reborns was basically empty nest syndrome. But empty nest syndrome for my grandson. My daughter moved out and she took both of my grandkids. And I had already gotten, my granddaughter had already been staying with her. So when my grandson came along, um, they ended up coming staying back with us. And well, I got used to being around a baby a lot. And um, whenever, whenever he left, whenever she left with him, um, it really made me really sad and made me yearn for that. And so I would, me and Nanny actually started watching YouTube videos. And probably some of you that watches me, I probably had watched some of your videos. And well, I started watching the videos, and. Um, it really looked neat, like it looked fun, it appealed to me, you know, getting the baby, dressing the baby, getting to dress the baby in real baby clothes and real diapers, <laughs> compared to like doll diapers or doll clothes, you know, and um, anyway, oh yes, oh sweet boy, anyway, um, <clears throat> so it appealed to me, so we started ordering Paradise Galleries dolls, I do not have my first doll that I started with, I actually gifted her to my granddaughter, and I don't have my um, last Paradise Galleries doll that I had ordered because I also gifted that to a dear Dolly Bestie. So, uh, but that's what I started with. And that is why it was anxiety and loneliness that caused me to start collecting reports. Question number two. Do you have other hobbies? Oh, yes, you guys. I am famous for starting something, learning everything I can about it, just eating it up, you know, all the knowledge about it and everything, and then just kind of it fading off. Um, and so that I do, I have, I have three different hobbies. I just don't do them a lot anymore. <clears throat> One of them is photography. Um, I do, I wish I could, um, my dreams have changed, but I used to want to be a traveling photographer. Um, I always thought that'd be fun, you know, like to travel to China and all these different places and just take pictures and all the different beaches. Um, that was a dream of mine. Photography, quilting is also another one. Um, I'm going to have to do some quilting videos for you guys this winter. And uh, painting, acrylic painting. I know you guys have seen my pictures in my backgrounds and those are ones that I have painted myself. So those are my other hobbies. Question number three. Where is your dream vacation? My dream vacation, you know, I don't really know. I, I always dreamed of going to Alaska. I would love to go to Alaska and see Alaska someday. But I also would like to go like to Ireland. You know, maybe not necessarily Ireland itself, but you know, maybe something like that. You know, like um, the Scotlands or whatever it is with the bagpipes. I don't know. You guys, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think, is it Scotland? It might be Ireland. Um, anyway, that, because it always looks so green and lush and just beautiful mountainsides and the cottages and everything. Um, and then another place that I always wanted to go is to go follow the path that Jesus walked. Um, I did. Uh, I have always wanted to go and travel and be able to see Jesus' tomb and, you know, um, all of that um, journey that he took. I did also want to do that, so that's hard because I have three dream vacations that I always dream of all the time. 
All right. Question number four. What makes a perfect Saturday night? Is it A, going out, B, having friends over, or C, curling up and watching a movie? It is a curling up and watching a movie for me. Sometimes it's curling up and playing Minecraft, but pretty much curling up and watching a movie. I don't go out. I'm not a partier. I'm not a club goer. Um, I'm actually very um, hermitized, you guys. I My circle involves you guys. It involves Nanny, and it involves my family, and that's about it. I don't have no, like, really friend friends here locally, uh, you know, if I do, and I didn't say, forgive me, but I don't think I did. I mean, I really don't. I don't go out. That's what I'm saying. I don't really go out. Um, and then as far as, like, having friends over, just like I said, I don't really have no friends to have over. So, number five, do you have pets? Oh, yes. We've got Socks, we've got Hey Hey, and we've got Scully, which is our kitties. Scully's actually Nanny's kitty. And then we also got Trixie, which is, you know, Trixie. And over here, we can't forget, we got Andy, too. <laughs> My little chonker kitty. Chonker? 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 I, I still can't. I don't know the name of it. Number six, what is your favorite music? Um, I do not have a favorite music. I actually listen to all music. I guess maybe if I had to like say if I'm in a mood and I want to pick something that I would want to be like super familiar with, then I think it would have to be like 80s metal, you know, like maybe some Cinderella, maybe some um, Damn Yankees, maybe, you know, Kiss, uh, maybe something like that. Um, but I listen to everything, even modern music. Um, I listen to it. So, I mean, it's just whatever catches my fancy, and it could be Christian music, it could be, I, I'm not really into jazz. Now, I will say that I'm not really into jazz, or any, any kind of music like that, like the blues. I'm not really into that kind of soulful kind of music like that. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just not my cup of tea. I'm more into, like, the beats, and really, really love, like, um, I don't know if they call it dubstep anymore, but the electronic, you know, music that's got the, that's why you guys always notice it in my videos. It's because it, it pumps you up. It just, doo -doo, you know, the, the beat. Anyway, that would be um, some of my favorite music. Number seven, how many, sorry, let me, how many reborns is a perfect amount? I cannot answer that question. Um, everybody's different. Everybody feels like they have their own threshold of when they feel like they have enough. Um, I've got quite a bit of dolls. Um, you guys don't even see all the dolls that I have. Um, but I do have quite a bit of dolls. And I name every one of my dolls. Just like Jason here. And I love every one of my dolls. Um, and so, um, I couldn't tell you that. I don't think you can never have too many dolls. I could never have enough dolls. I, if I had a house that had an extra room, all my dolls would have their own room. Yes, they would. I'd put all my dolls in a room, and believe me, we would have a heyday, you know. But I, I really don't know. I, I really, I really honestly cannot. And do you like holding your mommy's hand? Mwah. He says yes. Yes, yes, him does. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yes. All right. Number eight. Do you have a wish list? Yes, I do have a wish list, you guys. Okay, on my wish list, I can't... Well, Rhea was one. This is a Rhea. I'm pretty sure this is a Rhea. It's not the Mila, because the Mila is the real smiley with the teeth. So, I believe this is the Rhea. Um, was on my list, but I can tell you guys I would love to have a Charlotte um, one of these days. I do want a Adelaide, um, Adelaide, Adeline. Princess Adeline, I would love to have one of them one day for sure. And I am wanting to have a Raggedy Ann Reborn someday, even if i got to make it myself. And, and I also want a Avatar. <laughs> Believe it or not, you guys, I am going to get a Avatar someday. And I want a silicone Avatar. I know that's crazy because why? I'm not really a big Avatar fan. And I'm sorry, if you guys hear noise room it's because I got the fan and the air conditioner going but I still want one one of the silicone avatars um I definitely want one um one of these days I'm gonna order me one yes I am yes we are aren't we Jason yes we are all right number nine are you a an artist 
collector or both. Straight up collector only. Tried to paint my own dolls. Did not go well. That was just a hot mess that Rebecca learned her lesson from. <laughs> so collector only. And number 10. Who is one of your favorite sculptors? Um, I, I love so many different sculpts. Um, a lot of times with dolls... Um, I may see a doll, like the Levi, for instance. I know I love the Levi. I just may not necessarily know who the sculptor is. But then again, my dolls are not the genuine artifacts, you guys. It's no mystery. All my dolls are replicas. Most of them. I do have some artist um, rendered dolls in my collection. Um, but a majority of my collection is replicas. So, I don't know. I started out with Paradise Galleries. And like I said, I, I'm not really sure. Is Bobby Brown a sculptor the one that makes Maddie that would have to be my favorite because I do know that I believe that is the same sculptor I know that makes a few of the other dolls I have in my collection oh my god you guys do not be rate me in the comments below I never pretend that I know any of this I don't even act like I know anything so please don't be rate me in the comments okay I'm just being honest with you guys I don't really know sculptors I, I don't but the ones that make Maddie and like I said I think that sculptor whoever did that has got to be my favorite and well you guys that is it so like I said you guys make sure and check the description box below because I will have all these questions down there and that way if you guys want to maybe do it on your channel or share it with your friends and ask them some questions it could be a lot of fun I had a lot of fun thank you Melissa for tagging me in it um, like I said I will have some others that I have tagged down below in that description box also and you guys make sure it is currently 248 um, well, I'm supposed to be going live at 5.30 for my Cloud Insiders and 6 o'clock p.m. for everyone else. So if this video, if you guys don't see it before the live, then I will for sure see you guys after the live in this video because I'll finish editing it. And, well, I think that's going to do it for us. So if you like that, if you like, if you like that video, if you like that video over yonder there, that, 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 that video over there, there. <sighs> oh, you guys. It's been a day. It has been a day already, and I haven't even done much of nothing. Hey, I filled out my hire packet paperwork. That's one thing I did do. That is good. So we are for sure on the, the move for that. So um, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. And, well, until the next video, everybody, bye. Let me tell you about Rebecca's Clown Kids. Magical parties, imagine comes to life. Every day is a joy, no one needs to frown With Rebecca's Cloud Kids, we're the talk of the town Bring the laughter, we bring the fun Story time with Manny, she's the number one Imagination soaring up in the sky Rebecca's Cloud Kids, we're gonna fly high Come on, come on, join the fun and delight Rebecca's Cloud Kids, we're shining so bright Magical parties, imagine comes to life Every day is a joy, no one